today, wait, today we will be reading some scary stories. That's why I closed the blinds <laughs> to make it a little darker in here and put on a hoodie for cozy effect. <laughs> My hair looks short, but I just found how many? About six stories from BuzzFeed. They're true stories, so I hope you get scared. <laughs> the first one is called This Horrifying Haunting. Cue scary music. It says, I had a paper route when I was younger and delivered to a lady named Margie. She was very old and lived alone, so I'd take the paper inside and check on her. One day, I went in and she was asleep on the bed, so I put the paper on the table and left. The next day, she was asleep again and the other newspaper was still unopened. The following day, I went in and Margie was awake. She said she was very happy and gave me a hug. But the day after that, there were cars outside her house. Apparently, Margie had died in her bed three or four days beforehand. Somehow, I spoke to and hugged her about 24 hours earlier when she was already dead. Poor Margie. I hope she's resting in peace. But that's sweet. The next one is called This Nurturing Spirit. My mom told me the story about how one night when I was a baby, I got fussy and she came to my crib to check on me. After several times of her coming to my room, she was getting pretty tired herself. The next time I started crying, she got up and started to walk toward my room but heard footsteps and freaked out because she was the only person home. She sat, for, she sat still for a second and then heard the footsteps stop. When they stopped, she heard my crib being rocked and then heard what sounded like an older woman talking to me and trying to calm me down. So freaky. Honestly, shout out to that spirit. It's probably good spirit. But again, pretty spooky. Imagine a ghost comforting your baby instead of you. Yikes. The next one is called this final goodbye. I was up at 2 a.m. when I felt something firmly touch my leg. No one else was in the room, so I freaked out, but I eventually went to s fell asleep. The next morning, my mom got a call that my grandmother had passed away at 2 a.m. I believe that the touch on my leg was my grandmother saying goodbye to me. It brings me peace. That gave me a little goosebumps when I was reading it. Because I was trying to pick these out, you know, screenshotting them to save them for you guys. And when I was reading that one, it said 2 a.m., right? So I checked my time, and it said 1.47. And I was like, oh my god, is something going to touch my leg? And it was pitch dark, and it was, oh, it was freaky, but nothing touched my leg. But I did get a little creeped out. I was all paranoid and stuff. The next one is called This Holy Spirit. One night I woke up to what looked like a nun who was frantically putting my legs up, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> who was frantically praying next to my bed. I couldn't hear her, but she kept making the cross sign across her chest. I was 100% awake and terrified. I told my mom about it the next day, and she said our house was originally built for a priest and that the nuns used to stay there. Fun fact, <laughs> my high school if you've never seen my old videos and I talked about it, it was an all girls school. It was a Catholic school. And there were nuns there, sisters, you know. <laughs> and actually our math, like our little math building was a convent. So sometimes when we'd be learning, we'd just see a nun walk by or a sister and it was kind of freaky. But the next one is called This Woman in White. I woke up one night having to pee and I brought my phone to the bathroom. While walking down the hall and texting, I bumped into a girl in a white dress. I didn't look up and said sorry and kept going. It occurred to me moments later that I was home alone and not in my bustling high school. The next day when my boyfriend came to pick me up for the movies, he asked me why I'd been staring at him through the upstairs window and why I'd change out of my white dress, but I didn't even own a white dress. Okay, first off, <laughs> you bumped into a ghost and said, sorry. How freaky is that? Like, imagine yourself doing that, how creepy that would be. 
and how the ghost was she's the ghost is probably still there and the fact that she was staring at the boyfriend all right my <laughs> last one it's called this familiar happening i was visiting a friend and stayed at her townhouse her roommate was away so i slept in the roommate's room in the basement I woke up in the middle of the night to a man in a black suit and black hat covering me up. He then walked out of the basement sliding glass door. I didn't feel scared at all and fell right back to sleep. In the morning, my friend's roommate was back so I asked her about the man in the suit. She looked at me and said, oh, you saw our ghost too? Okay, no. First. <laughs> The ghost just walked out the sliding door. What if it wasn't a ghost? What if it was an actual person, a stranger? And just, you know, oh, so many things could have gone wrong. You're just lucky it was a ghost. You random person who wrote the story. <laughs> but um, that's the end of the video. My battery's dying, it's flashing red. <laughs> um, I didn't want the video to be too long. So I hope you liked it. I hope it was scary. If you have any ghost stories, let me know. I love, I'd love, i love to hear them. I was looking on Reddit for some, but there's just too many and they were really long. And um, I haven't posted a short video in a while, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was scary and cozy enough. It is Spooktober, so I needed a spooky video for you guys. And that was fun. Kind of, you know, kind of cozy for us. But I'm going to go before my camera dies halfway while I'm talking. Happy Spooktober. I hope you're well. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye, my little devils.